Hey, how's it going? Uh, today I'm gonna go over how to draw an Among Us with a present hat. Uh, it's gonna be like a little present sitting, you know, it's a hat. Uh, it's gonna be for Christmas, really. So this is gonna be easy and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner, you've never drawn anything in your life, you're like, oh my God, what is that? What is that, a marker? What is that? So if you're if you, if you if you're like that, you should be able to draw this whole thing with me. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using this marker right here, Crayola brand marker. Uh, and I'm gonna use a uh, regular printing paper. You can use whatever you want. You can use a pencil, you can use anything. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a flat line right here. Well, a line in general, I guess slightly curved for the top of the head. Gonna pull downward here, and that's gonna pull down into that visor section. Visor se section, you know? Where you can, he sees out of the spacesuit. Oh, alrighty, I'll, I'll wait, sorry. Then, I'm gonna pull a line over here. Pull down. It's gonna be, again, we're drawing into the visor there. I keep calling it a visor, but I guess it's like a window. Over here, this side. Pull underneath. <laughs> and now, so basically that little window to me uh, looks like a pillow. If you were to think about it as an abstract shape, it looks like a pillow to me if I was just to put that down. Um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna imagine this line going through. Pull down here for the front of the body. It's gonna be his stomach and it's gonna roll into his leg. At least his front foot over here. Over here in the back, I'm gonna pull a straight line down his back. And I'm gonna kinda even that out with the other side, right? Pulling inward here, his foot, we got the bottom of his foot. And then over here, you got the bottom of this foot on this side. I'm gonna pull a line upward on this side here. And then we're gonna have the bottom of his body over here. And now all you gotta do is roll this foot up. So halfway between this, I'm gonna imagine a line over here. And then I'll say the bottom of his waist here, bottom uh, like of his body here, I'm gonna draw. And I, I was doing this, okay, so I imagine a line over here. Right, so, but I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, a little bit. I know this is almost too low sometimes, the backpack. You can do that, it, it'd be either way, but sometimes I like putting it up a little bit higher. I don't know, to me it looks better sometimes. And then I'm gonna connect those lines right here in a curved edge. So this is gonna look like, and I say this all the time, um, a piece of bread on his back. That's literally what that looks like to me. It looks like a loaf of bread on his back. So you're gonna find that I do that with everything. I like to compare stuff to different shapes to simplify it in your mind and also helps you remember it too. You know, it's like, oh, what is that, a visor? That sounds, or uh, like a window? Like what shape is that? Oh, it's like a pillow. Okay, you know, like that simplifies it. You know, you memorize it more. Uh, all right, so let's draw that gift on his head. So straight line right here on one side. Straight line over here on the other side. And then one more over here for the side of the present. Pulling out, pulling across. Okay, you got that? You got like a box on his head? I'm gonna throw another little square over here, almost like a square sticking into it. That's gonna be a, the side of the bow, by the way. And then over here as well. Pulling a thin line inside of it to show the bow, that it's actually like a ribbon. Pulling another thin line over here on this side to show that like somebody's like tied that thing. And then you have the actual ribbon, the end of it, right? When you tie like a bow or something, it's kind of sticking out. 
and then over here as well. So let's go to the opening of that box. The box has to have like a lid opening it. So all I need to do is draw a straight line across like so, and you got that lid. Straight line back, you have that lid as well. Drawing a line down here, down here for the actual bow down here, down here. It's kind of that, you know, when you, it's like a box that you, you throw, like I guess, a thin ribbon around the, the entire box. You could do one over here on the side, but you don't really need to. I mean, I guess you could throw a tiny thin line there, but it's kind of, it's kind of irrelevant, honestly. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the lines almost everywhere. And the reason I wanna do that is I want it to match the animation to the actual game. So I'm gonna thicken certain lines. So on the box here, I'm just gonna thicken out, um, you know, strategically, like, you know, the main well, the main ones that show you it's a box, really, like the edge and stuff like that. Not, not so much the ribbon, at least that part of the ribbon. While I'm doing that, let me talk to you about the channel. So the channel's great. I've had an amazing time. I've had this channel for six years and I've never worked on it more than I have this last year because of all the, you know, the craziness um, going on. It's been a crazy year, but I'm very thankful and I'm very, very, uh, you know, grateful that people watch me at all. It's amazing. Uh, and it's become the highlight of my life, this channel. I work on this every day. Uh, I, you know, I, you know, I don't know if I talked about this, like subscribing is good, but yeah, I work on this every single day. Uh, well, every, every uh, weekday. And then on the weekend, I, I try to organize playlists and stuff like that. Um, but I post three times every single weekday and this part of it, the drawing part of it, I'm just thickening out lines by the way, that this part of it is easy and fun. I love doing this. This is like the rewarding part, actually drawing, actually teaching, actually, you know, seeing comments, commenting back. That is the most rewarding part I can say. Um, the part I don't like about it is the editing. I've said that a bunch of times. The editing is really annoying and it's tiring. Um, and I have to write the description and stuff like that. And there's three videos a day, so you can imagine that's kind of a hassle and it's really my whole day. It's pretty much become a full-time job. And what would make this worth it would be uh, something that you can do if you want. If you want to help the channel out, the best thing you can possibly, possibly do for this channel uh, would be to share a video. When you share a video, it gives this huge boost to the entire channel. And it's very evident when I go through my analytics, I'm like, whoa, something happened. Where when you share it, it brings in a, a, a group of new people, always. Like if you share it on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, there's this new kind of vibe to it. And it's always, always positive. People are always so nice. And they just say the nicest things and it just makes everything worth it. This stuff, like I said, is super fun. Like I said, the editing, it makes the editing worth it. It makes that hard stuff about writing all this stuff. I have to write the description every day. It makes that totally worth it when you share the video. And it's totally free to do so. So if you do find my stuff worth your time, please consider sharing. It takes about a, a minute, I guess it's totally free. It just uh, takes like a minute of your, maybe less than a minute of your time. Cause there's like a share button on the screen, I think right on YouTube, but Thank you so much. You've been amazing. Uh, if you got to this point, you got to the very end, please comment if you got to this point. Say hi to me in the comments and I'll know that you got to this point and you hear this right now. I will talk to you next time. This has been Easy Pictures to Draw.